To me, when you look at the value of STEM education, a lot of people look at it as, you know, they're going to get out of high school and go to college and get a job, and there's lots of jobs in STEM and so forth. There's another value that tends to get overlooked that may be much more important, which is really about understanding the world around us. Kids get really excited when they know there's an experiment in class. The minute they walk in, if they see that I have stuff in the back, they go, are we doing experiments? Definitely with physical science in general, it's hard for kids to comprehend things that they can't see. And so it's really important for kids to be able to have activities where they're able to see the invisible because those abstract ideas are very difficult for especially kids who are in sixth grade to understand. When our teacher says we're going to Makerspace today, all the kids like cheer and stuff. So Makerspace is one of the opportunities our kids have, really young, to learn by doing. And it's really just a place and a bunch of stuff and somebody who understands how to guide the kids a little bit without telling them what to do. And then you set them loose. I want to build like something that like moves. What we're trying to do is to have students really think outside the box. So I will show them maybe some tips or hints to get there, but for them it's really up to them to try different ideas or different solutions. And so in order to do that you have to be creative and kind of use your own knowledge or try to work through problems without being lectured to. And then it's really up to the students to you know, embrace their own creativity and ways to solve these problems. I've worked with the robotics team a little bit at Culver High, and they're doing really cool stuff on a lot of levels. Part of mentoring these kids is stepping back and letting them fail, letting them do things that you know isn't really going to work out, but hoping that they learn from it. The kids design the robot. The kids build the robot. Our goal is never to touch the robot. It's for the kids to build it themselves. You always have to like think in the growth mindset. Yeah, you may have gone like a few steps back, but you can definitely go like five steps further the next time. Do like the building process, do like the strategizing process. I learned the importance of like of teamwork, of collaboration, the idea that we're not just doing these things individually, but that we have to do it all together. As the team has grown, we've had to create leadership positions. Now we have a team captain, a chief engineer, head of drivetrain, head of CAD, head of mechanics. This allows opportunities for different students to shine. It's that creative edge that the Ed Foundation funds. It's the out-of-the-box stuff, the little extras that you can't do with state funding. It's an opportunity to experiment. When it's brand new and we're trying to do something new and creative and experimental and different, it's often the donations that make that happen. In that sense, the money that gets donated through the Ed Foundation is sort of like the seed money for the, the creativity in the district. So that makes it not only really valuable, but indispensable.